Hello folks, welcome to the Chattanooga FC live stream here from beautiful Finley Stadium on its beautiful sunny ring for the uh, playoff championship final game, no the playoff game against uh, the George Revolution. We have a slight delay, we'll be starting kickoff at 7.45 because the uh, Georgia Revs got stuck in traffic on I-75 so uh, that's why there's no play just yet and the team's warming up but we'll bring you the whole game and uh, we just had that 15 minute delay so the teams get a chance to uh, get in the groove and ready to play so don't switch off don't go and do something else just give it a few minutes and we'll be back at 7.45 so uh, hang tight soccer coming up on Chattanooga FC
Hello folks, we're back. Simon Neal here in front of the microphone. Thanks for joining me tonight and hanging around a bit. As I said, we had a slight delay of 15 minutes for kickoff. So at 7.45, we should be getting going. And the uh, Georgia Revolution got stuck in traffic on the way here on good old I-75 split. And I haven't got to tell people in Chattanooga what that is like. So uh, they got to the experience, the, the warm welcome from the asphalt of uh, the I-75 split here in Chattanooga. But they're here now and uh, getting ready to play. At the moment, the uh, CFC guys are here and they're warmed up and ready to get out. The referees are here and just waiting on uh, the Georgia Reds to get themselves settled. Looks like Chattanooga playing in dark blue shirts and light blue shorts with the uh, dark blue socks. And uh, the Reds should be in their red and white stripes when they come out. And uh, some of you will be been paying attention, of course, will know that we have played the Revs uh, twice in a week so far. We played them in league play. Uh, less than seven days ago, so another chance to play against them when they were here against Chattanooga the first time in league play They uh, came out fighting and surprised us with a 4-2 win and we went down to their place at McDonough Just south of Atlanta and we beat them 3-0. So uh, really tonight both teams poised to uh, take that decisive victory So uh, who knows what we'll get tonight? That's why you want to watch Shocker and see what happens because you never know in the meantime, we've got a good crowd tonight. we got, uh, looks like, at least 3,000 people in the stadium so far. More coming in and taking advantage of the late start. So, uh, should get a good noisy crowd tonight. Of course, the Chatter Hooligans are here, making a stack of noise and uh, raising the decibel level. So, I'll we'll just go through the team sheets for you. Um, starting for Chattanooga, we've got uh, Phil D'Amico in goal. On the back, number four, Juan Sanchez with Saul New Hazcheck, number 24, Emerson Lima, number three, and Stephen Rolker, number 12. In the midfield, we got uh, Daniel Valenciano, number 88. Uh, to the left of him, Caleb Cole, number 19. On the right of him, Pierre Bouquet, number six. In front of him, Juan Hernandez, number 10. And the two strikers tonight, your favourites, Wow, Chao Costa, number eight and Felipe Oliveira at number 11 so uh, lots of striking power there whole team is fit and ready to play we got a couple of guys sitting this one out um, you won't see Santiago more tonight he picked up a knock in the Atlanta Silverbacks game and uh, Cameron Woodfin's got a fever so he'll be playing tonight either otherwise full squad is here so I'll give you a quick run through the George Revolution uh, their starters are, and I haven't got positions, just got the numbers so far. I'll fill in the positions later on. Uh, number 10, Adama Kamara. Number 19, Jason Henry. 
Number 13, Merville Kise. Number 15, Nuvala Lima. Number 4, Vladislav Margolin. Number 8, Jamar Oakley. Number 7, Isaac Promise. Number 22, Sergio Serrera. Number 1, Wesley Sprague. And number 6, Alhaji Tambuda. Number 18, Tony Chiente. And those are your starters for uh, the Georgia Revs. And we'll fill in the positions as we go. Obviously, it'll be fairly easy to spot the goalkeeper. The rest, a little harder. So, up your poise to watch. We go through a quick announcement of the lineups for the crowd in the stadium. I'll say a quick thank you to our sponsors, Volkswagen and Chattanooga, the official direct sponsor of Chattanooga Football Club, proud sponsors in Chattanooga since 2009. Thanks to CHR Memorial, visit memorial.org. CHR Memorial, imagine better health. And the Centre for Sports Medicine, the official trainers and orthopaedic providers for Chattanooga SC. Also at Atlantic Capital Bank, the official bank of your Chattanooga Football Club, bank in the right direction with Atlantic Capital. And I mustn't forget our sponsors of the stream tonight. Sponsors, of course, Fox 61 WDSI of Chattanooga, bringing you all the games from the Russia World Cup all the way through to the final on Sunday. And if you've got two more games to go in the World Cup, third and fourth place playoff on Saturday with England and Belgium, and Sunday's final, France and Croatia. Should be a very entertaining game, that one. Here's the crowd going wild for CFC. <laughs> Always love to hear that sound. All right, folks, underway in a few seconds. Just have the team introduced to the fans, the fans introduced to the teams, and the lovely singing of the national anthem there. 
and uh, still a sunny warm evening here in Chattanooga it's uh, still 87 degrees out there so it's dropped below 90 but it's still pretty toasty out on that field where I was down there earlier talking to the players and the coaches and getting some uh, inside information for you and uh, definitely a bit toasty out there so we'll see a lot of guys probably stopping for water breaks and so forth so referees just uh, doing the coin toss to see which side the teams play on and then we'll be underway but uh, no storms in the area, looks like uh, great weather, a little bit of cloud, but uh, shouldn't be any more storms and rain delays like the last game we had, where we were here till nearly midnight trying to get it finished. So uh, should be a nice evening for great soccer tonight. And so this is a playoff game for the, uh, the best teams in the Southeastern Conference, which Chattanooga have won. And now uh, waiting to see you goes on to the uh, MPSL playoffs. So a lot of drama tonight, and uh, if Chattanooga win, there's another game at the weekend. Uh, don't forget, if you love soccer, this is a great weekend for soccer. Not just the World Cup going on, which is pretty cool, but also we have the uh, Chattanooga women's team who won their conference, and they're playing in the uh, WPSL playoffs on Friday night at 7.30. So come down again tomorrow and see them play. The girls had a great season. They love to see you supporting them tomorrow night. And then if they win that, they have a playoff match after that one on Sunday morning before the World Cup match. So uh, you can catch that and the World Cup game on the same day. And of course, if Chattanooga win tonight, they will play the winner of, uh, I think it's Asheville against the Atlanta Silverbacks, who are playing at the same time. And we'll be playing them on uh, Saturday if we get through tonight's game. So there is soccer every day this weekend, which is absolutely nuts but I love it and I think you do too. So, the teams are getting their sides all squared away. Chattanooga playing from uh, right to left, which is going to put Phil D'Amico with his eyes into the sun during the first half of the game, which is never an easy thing to do. I'm sure he knows how to handle it, but it's still never quite that easy. But, uh, it's not the players and the referees are in place. And uh, those of you who watched last, you remember my... Uh, my co-commentator, Carlos Pialago. Carlos is the fourth official tonight. So, as Carlos always gave us little insights onto the game, he'll be doing it for real down on the field tonight. So, I wish him well. Hope he has a great game. So, Chanu getting us underway. And uh, concentrating on possession. Just like I said, strong team. The squad's in good shape. They had a rest since the last game. And uh, on Sunday, and they've had a chance to get really uh, refreshed and ready to play again whereas the, uh, the revolution had to play a game against new orleans i think it was a couple of days ago so they're a little less fresh than we are first foul of the game one sanchez gets a knock on the near side so uh, chance for a free kick come out 30 yards out juan hernandez over it Everybody forming up the uh, bus queue they always make on the edge of the 18 yard box. Here we go, deep into the box, in swinging, away by the revs. Danger nullified there. Caleb Cole couldn't get on the end of that one, just a bit too strong. And Caleb unable to get a hold of that. But the right idea from CFC trying to set the uh, wingers off down the wing. George Revolution drawing a foul there on the players going down. But, uh, no injury. So Revolution's turn for a free kick. Chattanooga playing four in the back, making sure they keep uh, the opposing players in the offside trap if they can do, not let them get through. Juan Sanchez was uh, close to his man, making sure he didn't get through. And uh, Everson Lima just using all those years of experience, let the ball trickle out and uh, claim a goal kick for Chattanooga. Yeah, 
Ian Chattanooga trying to come through with Oliveira in space. Ball through to Costa. Look at that speed. Costa gets in there first, but the angle's too narrow. And he puts it behind for a goal kick. But uh, first in show of intent there from Chattanooga that they're going to try and put that ball in the back of the net once, twice, maybe more tonight. And that uh, attack fizzles out, goes all the way back to D'Amico. Chandu getting the chance to build again. Not seeing too much urgency from the refs just yet. Probably uh, trying to conserve energy. And so it is hot down there, still 87 degrees here at Finland Stadium. And uh, usually uh, a few degrees more than that on the field as the artificial turf releases the heat it's been storing during the day. Gives the, the players uh, hot feet, which is not much of a nice feeling. And Sanchez able to get away there. Chatting to try and break the break, but uh, not coming off. Throw to the revolution on the near side. Long ball back, Emerson Lima hooks it away. Stephen Rocker couldn't quite get hold of that one. And the Reds pick it up. Hernandez coming back to save the day. And the ball is back with Rocker. D'Amico staying calm under pressure, clearing it. And uh, a little more pressure from the Reds trying to make something happen. Not uh, being forced back into their own half too much. Trying to get uh, a bit of pressure on Chattanooga. Both teams probably looking for an early goal if they can get one. Come on, Hernandez. And Hernandez didn't get the pass right there. Ball back to you, Hazcheck. And Lima punts it back to D'Amico. Chattanooga being patient, not rushing. Great long ball from Lima, trying to find Costa, but uh, the Revs defender reds that one. Sanchez on the near side, ball goes out, Chanu to throw. They're deep in the box, a dangerous place. In the box, Oliveira, can't quite control it, Costa takes the shot, oh, off the post. Sanchez right there, no, Bouquet right there trying to punch it in, but the Revs get it away. Good shot from Costa there, hitting the near post, way past the keeper. So that's the first serious shot, and there's Costa again, streaking in, trying to set the players off, and the defenders pinball it around. And eventually the Revs keeper picks it up. And again, Costa dangerous twice in under 60 seconds there. Chattanooga really showing their teeth there and uh, showing to threaten the Revs. Let's see what the Revs have got in reply to that one. Valenciano and Cole getting each other's way a little bit. Sanchez winning the ball back. No, bouncing around. Hernandez taken out by two attackers and inevitably that gives a foul away. And two, it's a two on one, they both use their feet, then that's generally going to cause a foul. So. To play CFC looking to come forward in the uh, better part of the early minutes of the game. There will be a late kickoff, so if you just joined us, we only started at 7 45 because the uh, Georgia Reds bus was delayed in traffic, so you haven't missed too much of the game so far, to be honest. Make sure you stay here till the end. If not, why not? Bit of head tennis here, Costa streaking in, trying to get the ball. Gets the touch, but it runs out and uh, out for a goal kick again. Costa thought the defender's got the last touch on that one, but 
the referee says different. Caleb Cole with a header for that goal kick. Still not clear. Lima getting to it using his height. Again, long clearance from Lima trying to find Costa. And the Reds can't control it. Punch it out for a Chattanooga throw. Caleb Cole trying to cross it. Ah, doesn't quite get hold of it and slices it out behind the uh, behind the Revs goal. And an unforced error there from the goalkeeper. Throws it straight out to the chat to the uh, sidelines, gives away a throw under no pressure at all. For some reason he didn't throw it to his own player. Another throw to Chattanooga, still keeping the pressure on. Deep in the uh, the Revs half here. Hernandez, Sanchez got the cross in, pushed away by the Revs nicely. But only to Valenciano. Valenciano to Rocca. Rocker deep into the box, a little bit too deep, and that one goes out for another goal kick for the Revs. It's going to be giving the goalkeeper's right leg a work out with all his goal kicks. Let's see if he does that again and kicks it out for a, a throw in, or actually keeps it in play. Nope, oh, that one stays in play. There we go. That's how you do it, son. Chattanooga really getting possession off the uh, clearance and uh, nobody really threatening to follow that up from the Revs. So Lima gives it one of his huge kicks to find Felipe Oliveira. The Revs just get a touch on it. And uh, get it away. Lima using his skill, that's a nice dummy. Keeps it away from the keeper and puts it back into play. Hernandez on the end of it. Okay, three on him. Still gets the ball though. Sets Oliveira off, still on side. Oliveira looking for the cross. Who's he got in the box? Looking up, oh, right through the players and Costa gets hold of it, but skies it over the bar. But, uh, Oliveira very crafty, instead of playing it high, puts it right through the players' legs. The goal kick to George Revolution. I lost count on how many goal kicks they've had so far. If you're counting at home, let me know on social media and the usual channels. But uh, there's a lot of goal kicks for, for the Revolution having to deal with. Cole unchallenged, gets the ball from the uh, kick. The Revs get it back, trying for that long ball, but uh, you have checks on it. Hooks back to D'Amico, D'Amico clears it out. Danger averted. Gives away a throw, the Revs gives them a, really one of their first scoring chances so far in the game. So, let's see what they do with this. If you're finding it hard to see the numbers on the back of the Rev shirt, I am too, folks. They are black numbers on a red background. It's kind of hard to see who's who. I'll uh, try and pick out some of the numbers for you shortly, but uh, not a very high contrast combination. So, throw to, uh, sorry, goal kick. Start again. Corner kick to the Revs. Their first one of the game. Right under the nose of the Shatter Hooligans. See if they're going to do a set play here or something different. And uh, not very threatening at all. Hernandez first to that one. Not a uh, particularly powerful corner kick. The Revs looking to get something going, trying that long ball, but it's too long for 
most human beings and it goes out for a Chattanooga throw. Chattanooga goal kick. Good heavens. My eyesight's going tonight, folks. Bear with me. Again, the pace slows down a little bit. I'm sure both sides are trying to save some energy because it is so hot down there. And Chattanooga playing the, uh, the patient game. They've been doing pretty well this season just to buy their time. Again, Lima, great long pass in there. Falls for Hernandez and Oliveira. Bouquet finds Cole on the left side. Cole ducking, diving, ball in. Oh, a shot from Bouquet, punched away by the keeper. Almost a reflex save. If that had gone a few inches either side, that would have gone in the goal. So uh, good play from Chattanooga to get an opportunity for Bouquet to take another strike on goal. The Reds with a quick break here. Down their left wing. Only got one guy in the box. He could use some more targets. Trying to get round Stephen Rocker. And Stephen Rocker wins the ball out for another goal kick to Chattanooga. Building patiently, Sanchez coming out the left now with Cole inside him. Sanchez has got time to look up. Hernandez unmarked. Chips it in the box. A little too strong. Bouquet gets it. Oliveira. Oliveira tries to take a shot. Charge down. Takes four men. Ball rebounds. Costa. What's Costa going to do? Two on him. Trying to get back to Cole. And uh, makes contact with the Revs. 50 50 ball and the. Uh, Rev's defender thought he's got been shot, but uh, play goes on. The referee says didn't see anything wrong with that. Now the Rev's trying to break, coming down the far side on the right wing. Trying to make something out of it. Oh, and the defender's got back up and he's, uh, he's alive. The Rev's trying to cross straight into Miko's arms. He gathers that and says, thank you, that wasn't too difficult. And Chattanooga come away with the ball again. Oh, and Costa slides. He almost got that ball and just turned badly and slid over on the grass. So the Revs looking dangerous there on that quick break. And, uh, unable to make something out of it that was uh, really decisive. So both teams looking to break and get that goal. We've played 15 minutes, still nil-nil. But uh, both teams are not sitting back and they know they have to win or go home tonight. Rez trying to build coming forward. Chattanooga have got uh, five defenders back for four Reds attackers and uh, that goes out for a throw. Sanchez's boot. Reds trying to get something going here. Lima breaks it up, clears it. And it's gone out in for a throw, but out of danger. Rev's coach telling the players a little bit of a little bit of tips of what to do next. A tactical change maybe. They're pushing Chattanooga into the corner. Sanchez, nice overhead kick. Hernandez, another first time volley. Trying to set Oliveira free. And the uh, Rev defenders having a back pedal. Hernandez still fighting for the ball. And winning it with the help of uh, Bouquet. Now Hernandez, man on. There he goes. To Cole in the middle. Cole goes down under a challenge. Referee calls that as a foul. As he was challenged from the back. Chattanooga with a throw. Start again. Chattanooga with a free kick. <laughs> About uh, 24 yards out. 
of the res players is uh, down. It's like cramp or something. So give everybody a chance to catch their breath a minute. Some that might go for a water break. Looks like, yep, yeah, we have an injury. He wants to, one of the players wants to come off and the medical staff coming on to check him out. So uh, everybody stop for a bit of water if they can get it. is going to make a substitution. Front number 16, Aaron Wisham coming on. Taking off number 22, Sergio Serrera. So uh, Wisham coming on to replace him. All right, as you were, folks. Chandler getting sitting over the free kick here. I feel like Costa sitting over it, so it's probably going to be a direct strike if uh, Mr. Costa takes this one. Here he goes. And it was a bit trickled away at the left-hand side of the goal. I think all the waiting around got to him a little bit there. So uh, the Revs making an early substitution due to injury. Chattanooga still playing the original 11 that started. Caleb Cole winning that one. Setting Costa off again. Will Costa get there? He keeps it in play. Round the defender. The defender got the better than that time. Costa tackling back. That's a good play for the Revs. They're trying to take possession. Now they're trying to break. Broken up by Valenciano. Try and get that ball in just a bit too low and the uh, refs can get it away again. So the refs come down the other side of the field instead. See if they can break down the left wing. Streaking by Stephen Rocker there, but he turns his side and wins the ball back. Good play from Stephen Rocker to win that one back. Back to D'Amico, huge clearance. Only as far as the refs though, not uh, quite where they should have been. Now the refs building again. And number six, Jamar Oakley on this side trying to cause some damage. Get a nice touch here from the Revs. Whitham trying to get on the end of that one and wins the throw. Cross deflected by Caleb Cole there. And uh, Valenciano clearing it. Putting the Rose back in their own half for a second or two. Now the Rose are a bit more intent to trying to score their uh, stringing passes together and trying to make something happen. Broken up there by Rocker. Hernandez. He's got Oliveira. Nice little give and go there. Back to Hernandez. Lima clearing up. Hernandez resets. You has check in the middle of the back. Playing a solid game over to Sanchez here on the left wing. Trying to slow the pace down a little bit. Hernandez in the middle. Setting Cole off. Lovely ball to Cole. Cole's on the ball. Goes down in the box. Referee weighs play on. No penalty. Looks like a push in the back to me, but uh, the referee says play on. Yeah, I think the fans here are seeing the same thing too. The hooligans are waving yellow cards. Deep ball again. Hernandez in the box. Crosses it. The Reds get it away again. Still not cleared properly. Sanchez gets on the end of it. 
And the Revs cannot get it away properly, trying to make something happen here. Great tackle there from Valenciano. Slows the Revs down so they can't make a break. It's a little bit of controversy there. Should that have been a penalty? I think so, but the referee didn't see it. Let's try and get something going. Ball's bobbling around a bit, settling it. Okay, again, looking for Oliveira, who switched sides on the left wing with Costa. These two keep changing sides. But, uh, on the there, a little bit out, uh, outmanned by the taller defender from the Revs. And the Revs get away with it again. down the right wing trying to make something happen here trying to feed the ball in and uh, Everson Lima reads that and says out it goes pushed it away just that quick look anybody's watching from overseas tonight I know the Hartleys are watching in Manchester and uh, hope you're enjoying this and uh, anybody else watching from overseas or far away let us know on the usual social media channels say hi hopefully there's some folks down in uh, McDonough Georgia watching too Hope you're enjoying the game, folks. Oliver there, they're trying to get around the defender and succeeds. He's got Costa inside him. Costa gets nudged out of the way by the defender and doesn't get in there. The referee weighs play on again, but uh, a little bit of obstruction there. The uh, Revs defense having a rush back there and uh, tackle Chattanooga's two strikers. Here again, we're almost on the point of combining for a shot. Now the Revs trying to come through with that break, they do that fast break. Oakley on the far side taking the shot, whoa, completely slices that away. And uh, nothing doing. Tomiko gets the ball back into play quickly, looking for the break. Caleb Cole in the middle, he's got support here from Sanchez. Sanchez open on the Costa. Costa looking up, comes inside, yes, into the box. Shot, keeper can't hold it, Costa again on the end of it. Stabs away, but the Revs get it away. He can't quite get that second touch off. The keeper could not hold that super vicious shot that he took. Chanu looking a lot more dangerous than the Revs so far. Getting a lot more shots in, but no goal. So hang on, folks. Sure was a goal coming pretty soon. And the Revs getting a chance to build up on the uh, right side again. But uh, having to play into a sea of blue shirts, Chattanooga would be good about getting everybody back to defend. And Everson Lima again, reading the ball, breaking up the attack. And the Reds forced to play back the keeper. And Oliveira streaks in, catches the keeper a little bit on the shin, but uh, no harm done, no foul. And the Reds get it away again. So far the Revs coming down the middle sometimes, down the wings, still not finding the gap. Really the way they've come down on the right hand side has been the best for them so far. And again that left wing attack is just far too long and Whittam can't get that one. So uh, Tomiko quickly gets the ball back into play, Chattanooga really keen to get things moving here, not hanging around. Okay, looking up, a little slow there, almost gets tackled but has time to recover and finds Cole on the left hand side. Cole with the cross, and not a great cross from uh, Mr. Cole tonight. Played by the Revs. 
It's like Wesley Sprague, the number one in goal. But again, Chattanooga getting the better of that. Trying to find Costa from Cole, and Sprague is out and picks it up. And uh, calms things down a bit, but uh, Chattanooga definitely going for that loose ball in front of the keeper. Swinny Hasjek touched it out for a throw to the Revs. He's on his own down there. And the Revs get a chance to come forward. You can probably see Galen Riley going nuts on the podium down there in front of the Hooligans. Making all sorts of noise, but they are in good voice tonight. Even for a weeknight game, they're nice and noisy. The Revs trying to get something going. Charged down by uh, Sanchez. And the Revs win a corner. Cross deep in, flicked away, and the Caleb Cole gets second touch, and it goes way back to the Revs. They have to reset back at the halfway line, try and rebuild that. Again, the corners have not been great from the Revs. They haven't many got those in their own players, and they've been uh, short ones, been easy to deflect. There's a shot. Oh, good shot there. The first really serious attack from the Revs. Phil D'Amico has to stretch and push it off the top of the bar. There's a shot by number eight. That's Jamar Oakley getting the shot in there. Very vicious and Phil D'Amico had to really stretch. So, corner of the revs. Really trying to get some attack going again. The header away by Sanchez Hernandez to clear the corner. Another Revs corner that doesn't come too much. And long ball trying to set Costa off. Trying to use his speed here, but he's got two defenders to play against. And uh, they're just able to get it away from him. But uh, nice thing in the Chattanooga with the early breaks, he's Costa's speed. So the game's still pretty well balanced, though Chattanooga got most of the action. The Revs are looking dangerous. And uh, with uh, a win each, when they both played the last two times, then who knows? Again, Cost Oliveira taking the shot, deflected out. Bouquet trying to deal through traffic. Can't get through traffic. Freed Hernandez, chipped up. Her Oliveira cuts it out of the goalkeeper's hands. Just waited a moment too slow on that one. The keeper grabs it, unable to flick it out of his hands into the net. I thought Hernandez might have taken a shot from there because he was clear at the top of the box, but uh, set Oliveira free to get the spectacular touch and so close again. So another chance gone begging from CFC. And he's start putting some of these in the net. Half an hour played, still nil-nil. Chattanooga again coming away with the ball from these uh, clearances from the goalkeeper from Sprague. Most of those are being won by Chattanooga. A little bit of holding there. Pierre Bouquet. And Adama Kamara doing the, uh, the old tango there and putting his arms around his waist, which you don't do in football, as we all know. Free kick of Chattanooga, taken quickly. Valencian looking up. Plenty of options. Okay, on the left, Sanchez outside him, Sanchez. Getting around the defender, looking for the cross. Back to Valenciano, Valenciano, Hernandez. Good ball, Oliveira, Oliveira's in space. Gets the shot off, but it's straight in the keeper's arms. Spray gathers that and falls on it. So that's how you're trying to find Oliveira each time. And uh, the Reds, not wise to that yet, but they should be if uh, they keep playing the same play. Definitely a good time to mix it up and do something different here. Again, Chattanooga winning the clearance. Valenciano to Cole. Valenciano back again to Lima. 
okay to Roca. Back to Valenciano again, Chattanooga building steady. Sanchez on the left wing. Looking for options, Valenciano. Keeping it flowing through the midfield. Bouquet, just patient build up here from Chattanooga. Creeping forward. Nice from Bouquet, Sanchez. Bouquet, looking for the cross. Going down the wing, trying to get the cross and stamped out by the Georgia Rev defenders for a Chattanooga corner on the near side. See the Chattanooga player set piece on this. Caleb Cole over the corner. Everybody else up. Not from Roca and Sanchez. Deep into the box. Goes through. Lima touches it. Can't get a foot on it. Keeper couldn't hold it and it goes out for a Chattanooga throw. A little bit of confusion in the box there. Still in Chattanooga's favour. Little pause here. It's like Pierre Bouquet coming to the sidelines. It's like he got a scratch in his arm there having to treat that. Just put, put a bit of tape on it because there's a bit of blood on there. Trying to go back into play while uh, Bouquet's getting treated. There's a header. Oh! Again! So close. So close. Oliveira gets the header, he'd be the shortest player in the box, and it just bubbles off the top of the crossbar and it goes over the keeper. Not often you see Felipe scoring with his head. That was very close. Boko treated and bandaged up, everybody back into play. Spray puts it back in from yet another goal kick for the Revs. Valenciano trying to find Costa. San Bouquet there, stumbles over the ball. The Revs get it back, trying to make something happen. Good tackle from Sanchez. Valenciano setting Cole off, nice. Bouquet coming forward, he's got Oliveira on the outside. To Oliveira, he's got Olive. Oh! Costa on the outside, Oliveira in the middle. Oliveira could not quite stretch that cross. So close, it would have been a spectacular goal if he got at the end of that. Play by the Revs again. The, the clearances going to Chattanooga, and the Revs not really chasing those down, they're just uh, letting them go. I think they're probably still trying to save energy, but uh, they've got to play a bit. Oliveira gets through into the box. Two, oh, two on him, and he's straight at the keeper with the shot again. He had Costa open, but went for the shot. And uh, keeper gets his body right behind it. And it's like a handball there. That one uh, bounced around. Referee didn't see that one and call it. But, uh, like a, a handball on the far side. Nevertheless, the game continues. The Revs are uh, looking to build up and come forward. And again, San Sanchez breaking it up. Can't quite get the ball to Cole, but uh, breaks up the attack. The Revs get a throw in front of the CFC bench. Sanchez, despite the injury, playing on. Fighting his way through the defence of the Revs. On the far side, they're trying to get possession. The Revs are able to get it back. Trying to make something happen. And loose ball. Chano win it back. Valenciano to Cole. Cole turning. Gets pushed down as he turns by the... Def the uh, Defenders. So 
another Chattanooga free kick at 30 yards out. Hernandez over the free kick. And so they got something they worked out, a drill on the training grounds. This kind of free kick. Chipped it in the box. Lima gets his head on it. Yeah, just too high and can't get it down. But again, Chattanooga winning those. And uh, getting the ball. Looks like to knock off a, a Revs defender. So it becomes a corner kick to Chattanooga on the near side. Caleb Cole over that again. He's the corner kicker this season. Chattanooga players up in the box. Here it comes deep in. You have to check, gets on the end of it, and the Reds clear it. Chattanooga getting the throw. Hernandez again, deep in the box. It's Bouquet and headed out. Another corner to Chattanooga. Pressure on from Chattanooga, corner after corner. Can they get this to pay off? Can they make something happen? You know the crowd who would love that to happen. And that first goal is going to be a noisy one that goes in. Caleb Cole going to the far side. Into the 40th minute, still no score. This would be a great time for Chattanooga to get that goal. Ball swing in. Bounces out. Lima chasing it as it bounces out of the box. Cuts it back. Costa way back. And it obviously drew position. Roca to Hernandez. Hernandez driving the ball back in again, but the Revs are there first. Emerson Lima way up too. A lot of players playing in different positions tonight. You has check. Looking up for the spot, the space. Ball back to Lima. The Revs try and flood forward and play the offside trap here. Valencia looking up, nice chip through to Oliveira, gets a touch, can't control it, and the Reds sneak in and push it out for a throw. Just one more touch needed by Oliveira to get that onto that for a shot. Quickly taken throw. Nice touch. Sanchez gets the ball through. Another Chattanooga corner. You get tired of hearing me say that yet? I'm getting tired of saying it. Another Chattanooga corner. Another Chattanooga corner. We're already keeping the pressure on tonight. Cole driving it in the box, deep in the box, and the Reds get the head on it and keep it under control. Going to try and clear and come out and break away from their own half. Finally, trying to get the give and go going. They outnumbered two strikers and four defenders, but the uh, the pass is a poor one, and Tomiko's able to gather that up, and the Reds have to reset again. Sanchez, Bouquet. Overlapping. Roca, Costa. What's he going to do? Shoot, run, shoot, go run. Crosses it in, bounces around in the box. The Revs get it away again through some lucky deflections. Hernandez steals the cross away from the feet of the, uh, the Revs midfield. And again, Chattanooga looking much more aggressive, much more likely to nick a goal here. Valenciano, Cole, outnumbered, tries to set Costa off and miscommunication there. Out for a goal kick to the Revs. Coming up to half time, not a whole lot of extra time playing this half, I don't think there's been maybe a stoppage or two, so maybe a minute or two minutes, but not much expected. Lima heads back to D'Amico. Chattanooga calming things down at the back. Still haven't got the goal they need, but uh, looking more dangerous as time goes by. But you don't win games with looking dangerous, you win games by scoring goals, so that's what you want to see him do. Luciano long across the field to Roca. 
in the box again. The Revs get to it first. Lenciano gets on the end of the header, but the Revs get it back. The Revs going to go for an attack. Yeah, and they slow things down a touch. Nice through ball there, looking dangerous. D'Amico, the Revs get the ball. Creeps out of his hands, but uh, good defending for Chattanooga. The defenders a little fast in the attackers there. The Revs got past D'Amico with that touch, but driven into a narrow angle. And uh, Chattanooga were able to clear that one. Good play. And like the Rez's best chance so far. Nice ball. Rez trying to build coming to the attack on the left side. Making the shot. Blocked. Back to Bouquet. Fight with the ball over there and wins it away. The Rez's a little slow off the mark there. Could have got something out of that and just not. Not fast enough for the rebound. I'm not able to make something happen. I don't know if they're tired from their more recent game than Chattanooga's game, or just the, the long journey may have uh, tired them out. Just haven't quite got that spark they would need to get a goal, but watch the commentator's curse take effect and they'll score one as soon as I say that. the last minute of regulation time. The referee called it a foul there for Lima for climbing on the attacker's back a little bit. He appears to be okay, so that's good. So, Revs with a free kick. But a long way out from the Chattanooga goal, so it won't be a direct one. We've had an announcement there'll be two minutes of extra time, so regulation is over. Two minutes to go. Again, the Revs not able to get that last touch on the ball. And uh, Sanchez trying to get away with it. The Revs get it back, though. Again, deep cross in the box. D'Amico there to punch it away. A little more dangerous for the Revs again. Start to slowly turn the pressure up. Caleb Cole wins the header but gets a knock. Referee says play on and plays the advantage. Costa has the ball to Oliveira. Cole still down. Oliveira. Oh, and not a great pass from Oliveira. Goes back to Bokeh. He's going to keep things going. Chattanooga slowing things down. And Caleb Cole still down on the floor, but the attack goes on. Valenciano, and Valenciano pays it out. It's like uh, Cole will need some treatment there for that knock in the challenge on the header. So we'll, uh, and the referee, I think he's calling half time there. So that everybody can get a breather and Caleb Cole can get looked at. Is he calling? I think he's calling half time. Yeah, uncertainty on the field. Maybe he's not going half time. Nope, still playing on. There was a little bit of confusion there. <laughs> Referee has not blown the whistle at the end of the first half, so still a minute or so to play. Start here. No, players not quite stopped for half time, we're just about on the edge of it. Caleb Cole going off to get checked that he's uh, okay. 
Ball is back in play. And the Revs do the, the sporting thing, return to the Challenger players, and the game continues. Well, they're trying to get the ball there, giving the Revs defence a hard time. They're trying to get a break going here, trying to go into the half of the lead. An unmarked play on the left hand side there. Chattanooga not doing a good job there marking and the Revs give another foul away. Valenciano gets a knock. Back into play quickly. And that's half time. Okay, that's definitely the referee's half time whistle. <laughs> Big round of applause from the fans in the stadium. Still nil nil at half time though. So I hope you're enjoying it. Even with a late start, we'll have a 15 minute break here. You will see during the half time as well as the entertainment uh, provided by, uh, sponsored by Academy Sports of Chattanooga, you will also see the presentation of the Volunteer Shield, which uh, is won by Chattanooga SC this year for being the most successful team in the NPSL region in Tennessee. So uh, last year won by Knoxville. This year it's back in Chattanooga's hands and we'll do the presentation at half time. So keep an eye on that during the half time break. I'm going to go and get a cup of tea. And I'll be back in 15 minutes. Do not go away, as I always say.
Welcome back everybody. Hope you had a good half time. And uh, if you're wondering what was going on with the half time show not being on with people doing crazy things with soccer balls, they were presenting the Volunteer Shield to Chattanooga SC. Galen Riley presenting it there. And it is now back in Chattanooga for being the best and most successful team in the MPSL Southeast Conference of the season. So both teams back on the field in their huddles getting ready. Changing ends of course, Chattanooga playing from left to right. And the Reds from right to left. Not aware of any uh, team changes for you of the half time, and we're uh, getting about ready to kick off. <coughs> Let's say a quick hello to Jim Myers watching at home in his fluffy slippers on the couch. Hi, Jim. Hope you're having a good game so far. There was a substitution at halftime for the Georgia Revs. Alex Niarko Hartley coming on number 11. Didn't quite catch their taking off. I'll check out for you, let you know later on. But uh, Chattanooga FC looking unchanged and ready for action. Ready for a goal in the second half, I have no doubt. And the Reds getting us underway, as I said, playing from right to left. Both teams are aware that the draw tonight won't do. And if it's still tied at full time, we'll be going, of course, to extra time. And then our old friend penalty kicks. Both teams playing the same as they started, and uh, throw being given to Chattanooga there. Lines got that one wrong, but uh, the referee corrected him. The referee's got final say on these things in the middle of the field. Stephen Rock with a quick throw to Lima. Harrison Lima back to Phil D'Amico. Chattanooga doing the patient build. So the stadium's looking forward tonight, looking good. We've still got people coming back from half time and uh, good crowd making a lot of noise. It really is a great atmosphere here at Finley when Chattanooga are playing. And the hooligans in great voice, fueled by adrenaline and large amounts of beer. Beer from Chattanooga Brewing Company, of course, our main sponsor. I must mention them. Sloppy pass there from Rocker. And the Revs take advantage of it, trying to get something going. Nice ball chipped in there by Hernandez, but not quite connecting with Oliveira. And the Revs break it up. Looking to come forward in the Chattanooga defence on them. Hernandez back in the defence. Bokeh tackled and then fouled. And a, uh, a free kick to Chattanooga. And on the near side in front of their own bench. Rocker trying the long ball, handball against uh, the Revs there. Referee calling that one. Shango 
coming forward again. And now there's over the ball. Handball given away there by uh, number 11, Harley, the new substitute. Hernandez with a short free kick. Rocker back to Hernandez. Rocker down the right wing. Looking for overlap. Trying to run down the wing and charged out by the Georgia defence, which wins the throw for Chattanooga. Chattanooga had a pretty long throw there at Acosta in the box. And the Reds clear it. Sanchez uh, winning the header. Oliveira on that side and able to keep it in so the Revs go throw. Throw back to Chattanooga. around the Reds get the benefit of the bounce and try and come away with it again three attackers five defenders and that's going to end as you might think with Chattanooga getting the ball back Benciano trying to chip it again another handball not given by the referee the Reds get the benefit of the bounce and try to come forward with it Using a speed. Oh, nice interception here by Lima. Reads the pass. It's coming up and uh, breaks the attack up. Hernandez now looking in the middle. Valenciano over to Cole. Cole can't keep it in. It just gets away from him. And uh, the Reds get the throw. Chattanooga not looking quite as sharp as they did in the first half. Some of these passes are not quite getting as, as good as they were. You get that tied up. Nice long ball there. Hernandez trying to get away. Uh, it's a uh, good defence by the Reds. Now Cole breaks him up, and again he can't get the pass through <laughs> to Oliveira. It's just a tale of intercepted passes tonight. Balls back to Chattanooga defence. Again switching sides, down the right, down the middle. Now Rocker running onto it, trying to get away, doesn't quite get there. And the Reds reset. Nice ball there, Cole, Costa, Bokeh of the cross, deep, 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 too deep and over the bar. Good little move there, again Chattanooga need to be a bit sharper on this, get the ball, uh, see the feet of the attacker. And again both teams at the end of a relatively short season but uh, it's been intense playing in the summer heat. And uh, the games at the end of the season like this often can be a bit unpredictable. As uh, there's been non-stop play. Both teams playing two games a week for the last five to six weeks. So that can be pretty exhausting, even on guys like this who are in good physical shape. He has Jack trying to set Sanchez off. Oliveira trying to get that gap. Still ducking and diving. Give them the go. Oh, the give and go almost comes off with Bouquet. And the Reds just get in there. So close setting Oliveira off to a striking position. Good interception there for Chanuga. The Reds are off the races there. Caleb Cole clearing it. A little getting that quick break they like to make. Try 
going to set uh, Ryan King off, number 12. The Revs are quite well known for fast breaks. Costa, shot blocked again. He can't get that gap to get the shot in. And again, the Revs spread the ball all the way across the field. The tussle going on here with Roker. Costa again trying to get the ball back. The Revs are in a sweat a little bit to retain possession, but they do. Chattanooga cleaning up, trying to get through. They're getting through to that last touch. Is it, uh, just eluding them right now. Chattanooga making all the right moves, just not getting that last touch. We'll find the shot is blocked. Certainly having a lot of the passes, possession, but got to make something out of it, guys. And trying different things, different touches, different angles. Trying to find that gap. Not trying to find the back heel for Hernandez. Didn't quite come off. But Channing would get the throw on the far side. check Lima again so solid at the back playing the ball forward Sanchez claiming for obstruction but uh, referee not giving it Chattanooga getting the ball the, the rev attackers just can't get going they've got one up and everybody else is back and they just can't get going they're being forced into defensive position but unable to do some nice touch there Bouquet hits it oh Side netting. I bet that you at home jumping off the couch for that one. The end of the side netting, a nice shot, but uh, just slightly right. They got the crowd on their feet here. When those moves come together, Chanu looking very dangerous. Rev's bring it back into play. And we've got a Rev's player hurt. Looks like they got a knock going for the header. Clash of heads there with uh, Bouquet. discussion there with the res players and what happened but uh, I think that was one of those 50-50 balls you get in soccer and uh, both players going for the ball and the heads getting in the way going off a bit of treatment there Number 10, Adama Kamara. Rez taking off number four. Vladislav. Yeah, Margolia, can't see that one in the dark. The top of the Vladislav Margolia coming off. Kamara back on after a bit of treatment. Two subs used with the revs, none by Chattanooga just yet. Almost an hour gone, still nil nil. Okay, Bokeh much more aggressive in this game coming forward. And uh, a little hesitation there, and he's tackled. And uh, goes out for a throw to the Revs. All of the Chattanooga players think it should have been a foul, but the uh, referee not agreeing. Loose clearance there, Caleb Cole getting the end of it. Can Chattanooga break here? Keller with three defenders on him. And. Takes a light half-height shot, which goes out for a 
a throw. I think his intention was to win the throw, and he did so. Didn't really hit that too hard. Throw at Chattanooga, nobody there to receive it. Caleb Cole trying to make something, and a uh, break down there, and the Reds trying to get away, but uh, outnumbered. Bouquet is back there to break that up. Ball goes back to D'Amico. Red's trying to struck that, but uh, not quite fast enough. Red's starting to get something building here. Fighting for the ball on the left-hand side. No fouls given. Just a... Uh, Good strong play from Chattanooga. Hernandez with the ball, looking up. Trying to set Oliveira free. Oliveira just too slow on that one. He was uh, waiting for the ball when it was taken away from him. He's just really got to go to those balls, not wait for them to come to you when it's this kind of game. Now the Reds trying to come forward with their quick breaks. Shot, deflected. Rocker taking the uh, that one. Nope, Sanchez taking that one hard, sorry. It's quite a strong shot, I bet that hurt. Ball's out for a challenging throw. Cost a nice touch there to Bouquet. Still fine for it, Hernandez. Back to Bouquet, nice back heel. Bouquet tackled. Referee didn't call it and played the advantage. Valenciano, a huge hoof all the way down the field. For a uh, Revs throw. Not seeing any substitutes lined up for Chattanooga just yet. There's a bunch, of course, the usual suspects down there warming up down by the locker rooms, but nobody poised to come on for Chattanooga yet. I'm sure that will change before the game's over. So, one hour played, nil-nil. Chattanooga with a lion's share of the attacks and possession, but uh, no goals for either team yet. Lima, nice ball through to Bokeh. Bokeh trying to get around two defenders. Still Bokeh. And gives that away needlessly. Luckily, a great challenge there from Sanchez. Caleb Cole with a shot. Keeper can't hold it and pushes it out for a goal for a corner. A little more dangerous than Chanu. Let's see if they can keep the pressure on with this corner. Chattanooga corner, what have they got? Cole swinging it in across the six yard box. Oh, and a touch there. This did not go in. Saw so a new has check at the far post with a gentle touch and it just trickles past the far, the near post right in front of him. That would have gone a foot the other way or nine inches. That would have gone in the goal. Proves he haven't got to hit the ball hard to score a goal. That was so close. Winning their header. Getting new Haschuk there being strong. The Revs trying to get something going here. Down the left wing. Trying to come in and again out muscled by Chattanooga. Oh, and there's a. Talking of muscle. There's a body charge. <laughs> Referee sees that and gives the foul straight away. Here, but okay, you going down there. Chattanooga, Bokeh's back on his feet, trying to make the break happen. Rivera on the far side. And 
the give and go not going off there. Chattanooga dispossessed. Hernandez gets it back. He's just so strong in the midfield. Rev's getting the throw. Caleb Cole again winning the ball back. Goes down. Referee plays the advantage and then changes his mind and calls the foul. And again, that's the second knock for Caleb Cole tonight. He's up and about again, so that's good, not too serious. Play resumes, Chattanooga. Rocker on the far side, near side. Again, trying to beat the trap. Cross did across, but the cross is not strong enough, and the Revs intercept it and get it away. Push it out for a throw in near the halfway line for Chattanooga. Valenciano, deep cross. Who's on the end of it? Still free. Out of there, are fighting for it, but the Revs push it away for a throw in. Trying to get in possession back again. Doing that same slow build from the back four. And the Revs letting them do it. To be honest, they aren't uh, pushing as hard as they might do. I'm thinking they're probably saving themselves for that, uh, that sudden break they're so good at. They're not pushing every chance they get. In Chattanooga throw on the near side. Play fizzling out. Slow down a little bit here. about to get very exciting in a moment but it's uh, slow at this moment Hernandez trying to find that gap that's a bit too long and out for a Revs throw I think Coach Bill's going to change it up in a moment or two he's on some fresh legs Bobbling around there, Hernandez trying to get control of it. The Revs coming away with it now. Trying to go for that fast break. Nice touch. D'Amico grabs that right under the striker's feet. Very nice. Clears it away. D'Amico not had too much to do tonight, but when he does, he's awake and he does it. Again, there's that speed and pace that the Revs have, and they just surprise you when you think they're switched off and they're not. Revs trying to get something going again. Deep cross and, and Mark down the far side a little bit too long, but he catches it. He's going to try for the cross. One on one, Sanchez. So we can't get anything going. Now he gets to cross in, but it's. Uh, Back across the box, and uh, attempt of the volley there does not come off. Okay, slowing it down, using his skill there to neutralise the threat. Let's leave and clear it. Hernandez, can he get something going? Again, trying to set Oliveira off, and just uh, pass does not connect with Felipe. Looking to get something moving here. Got the attack moving. Here we go. Taking the shot. Whoa! Nice shot from a long way out. Just over the bar, though. And uh, nothing doing there at all. Referee says that D'Amico got a finger on it and is given a corner. the Revs winning the corner and turning the attack around into Chattanooga's half. It's the 
corner. Swing in, head of the way. Emerson Lima, strong with that one to push it away. And the Reds get a throw. And the danger is neutralised. I thought we got a substitution coming up for Chattanooga. Well, here's everybody's favourite striker, Charlie Clark, number 15, replacing number 6, Pierre Bouquet. So now Clark playing on the same side as Oliveira. Should make it interesting. The Revs trying to get the ball into the box. Long cross. Fight for the ball there, Rocker winning the ball but going down. <laughs> and the referee calling the foul there. Now let's see if they get Charlie going. If Charlie wants to get on that score sheet and again, touched away by the Rev defence. Yeah, they win a throw for that one. Looks like it came off the Revs, but uh, linesman corrected by the referee. Again, that's the second call the linesman's got wrong. And uh, the Rev player's not happy about that. But, uh, that's, that's two from the same linesman. He needs to uh, go and visit our sponsors, Capman & White, who fix foul vision. Capman & White Air Eye Care, official sponsor of Chattanooga FC. with the throw in and Rivera in the corner tight trying to get something to happen another throw to Chattanooga Caleb Cole cross to Hernandez Caleb Cole goes down again he's been the target man for the fouls Chattanooga push back resetting a bit Fenciana looking up so the Reds able to intercept it now they're trying to break away Charlie Clark fighting back, and the Reds getting the ball away. And uh, cleared by Chattanooga all the way back to the spray of the goal. Just want to say thank you to our sponsor of the stream tonight. Tonight's stream sponsored by Fox 61, WDSI Chattanooga, bringing you the uh, every match live from the World Cup in Russia in HD on Fox Sports 1. And uh, hope you will enjoy watching the World Cup on Fox. I've watched every game on Fox so far, and it's been great. And, of course, I'll bring you the World Cup final this Sunday morning at 11 a.m. So do not forget to watch that when France take on Croatia. Channing building. Clark come through, takes a knock. Referee calls a foul, and there's the first yellow card of the night. First yellow card of the night. The Rev's not happy about that. A little bit of an argument with the players going on there. Doesn't do any good once the card's in pull. The referee's never changed their mind, but they like to argue anyway. Referee marking out the 10 yards, the uh, defenders have to be away from the ball. Showing them where to start, forming their wall. One of the Rev players not wanting to cooperate. Hernandez over the ball. Going for the shot, going for the cross. What are we going to see? The shot. Juan Hernandez, 1-0. Juan 
Hernandez in the 74th minute, 1-0 Chattanooga FC. What a coolly taken free kick. Now we've got a game on folks. That goal's been a long time coming. Now we've got a game going. A lovely free kick from Juan Hernandez. Just swung it into the far corner and the keeper could not reach it. Just perfectly placed. Now Chattanooga one up, 15 minutes of regulation play to go. Crowd are on their feet making a load of noise. Hope you're making a lot of noise at home too. Let's cheer the boys on. Remember tonight, win or go home. Chattanooga again taking advantage of the mistake by the defenders. And the ball bobbles around. Chattanooga can't get hold of it, but a good move there. Charlie Clark stealing the ball, just can't get the connection there. One of the res players has gone down, but play continues. And Chattanooga did the right thing, play it out so we can get some treatment. And uh, waste a little more time there too. So a pause there for treatment of the player. That, uh, that was a cracking goal for Chattanooga. Hope you're watching that in the replay too. Very calmly taken free kick from Juan Hernandez. Really classy. So the player's okay and he's getting up just a bit stiff from that one. Ball back into play and the Revs do the sporting thing and play it back to Chattanooga. So we can carry on with the game. Now the Revs can't hold back on this, they have to, have to go for it. Revs trying to get something going here, trying to get that equaliser, but too slow on the ball. Valenciano touched it away off for a corner. That's a huge boost for Chattanooga. We'll see if the Revs can come back off this, get an equaliser or not. Ball pushed away by Lima, strong header there. Costa streaking away trying to win it, but the Revs defenders are back fastest. Now the Revs playing it in deep, but that's a little long. They can't quite keep it in and uh, goes out for a goal kick for Chattanooga. Chattanooga getting ready to make another substitution. And uh, it's like John Carrier, number seven, wanting to come back on. And Felipe Oliveira, who's run his socks off, is coming off. So, uh, two subs on the uh, right wing there, Carrier and Clark. Carrier with the experience and uh, Clark with the energy and they both might say are different, but uh, certainly John Carrier playing those years of play for Chattanooga knows his way around this field. Good defending there, Chattanooga staying strong. The Reds trying to intercept, trying to get space for a shot in. Cross from the revs, a little bit too deep. I think that's going out for a goal kick. Yeah, despite the efforts, that's gone. So I see John Carrier back playing again too after his uh, the infection he picked up on his ankle. He's uh, back out on the field, and I'm, I'm glad to see him out there playing again. I know John's been keen to play 
all the time he was off and is not very patient as a patient so he's uh, probably thrilled to be back on the turf again back in a play from D'Amico Hernandez heading it on and the Revs pick it up and the Revs trying to come down finding space for that shot Being choked out by Chattanooga and the ball goes deflected out and uh Another goal kick for Chattanooga. So the Reds starting to turn the screw. They're running out of time though. As we are coming up on the 80th minute, the, uh, the Reds need to uh, find something. If they're not gonna just have that long drive back home tonight. Clark combining here on this side. Costa, Hernandez, looking for goal number two. No, Caleb Cole unmarked on the, on the left side. Caleb Cole pushed out by the defence. Good defending from the Revs there. Caleb Cole hesitating on that one. Should have hit it first time and just wanted to get the extra touch. And that's all it needs. Give that defender a little extra sight of the ball. Taking several knocks tonight. So uh, Gabriel Bello coming on to replace him. And probably going to drop back a little bit and be more defensive. So Chandler can protect this lead. So I still don't think one goal is enough in a game like this. And I think Chandler need to push for a second. But of course I'm not Coach Bill, so what do I know? far side there. Ball out for a chance to throw. Costa. Shot charge down. Rez taking advantage of the deflection. Costa streaking back to win that back. That's the complete footballer. Takes the shot with the innovation of the the attack then rushes back to defend as well. A lot of calories burned tonight. Costa again charging the ball down. He's all over the place. Clark is hovering at the front waiting for that deflection, that loose ball so he can get a strike in. Chattanooga playing it back to D'Amico. 85th minute, five minutes regulation plus a bit of stoppage. Chattanooga hang on to that one goal lead and the Revolution watching it slip away. What are they going to do? The Revolution have to attack. If we throw everybody forward, it leaves Clark and Costa up front unmarked. Here they come again. The Revs still outnumbered. But Chattanooga's marking, letting them down. If another man unmarked in the overlap, then a really bad shot that deflects out. And uh, Chattanooga were able to come away. Revs able to get it back. Clark coming back to help defend. Carrier. Costa. Costa streaking out the right wing. He still goes a quick. And uh, Emmett gets it away. Stops the play. We've got players down the far side with uh, Cramp, I think, pulled up. Yep, looks like a case of Cramp on the far side. And maybe Hernandez has gone down the far side. Now entering the game for Chetting FC, number 25, Jonathan Ricketts. So Chattanooga Bay, another substitution. Jonathan Ricketts, number 25, coming on. Let's see who's coming off. So there'll be a pause here, so there'll be some extra time added on to make up for this. After 90 minutes is over, and uh, the revolution getting a couple of players warmed up too. Also getting ready to bring on a sub. Yep, it's like Juan Hernandez coming off the. Uh, his legs have given up at about the 80th minute, which is uh, something that. 
usually happens to one and he finds it amazingly infuriating. He's told me several times that he wishes his legs would go the full 90 minutes, but they just don't. So but he's had a heck of an 80 minutes and so uh, a well-deserved break. Jonathan Ricketts coming on to take his place. Huge round of applause there for Hernandez, our captain and our goal scorer. He really uh, has anchored the team this season or last season. So Chanu taking the throw. Charlie Clark trying to get it going. Touches it over. Costa. Ricketts in the thick of it there. The Revs hoofing it away. Valenciano gives it a huge kick. And the Revs get hold of it. Bello on the far side. Carrier. Carrier looking for a shot. Nice ball. Oh, Charlie Clark, he sliced it. What are you doing, Charlie Clark? Slices it past the right post. Aren't able to connect on that one properly and get the shot in. Chandler are keeping the pressure on the revs. Is one goal going to be enough? Fourteen, Clayton Adams getting ready to come on for the Revs. Fourth substitute of the game and their final one. Pretty sure they're bringing on a striker there at this point in the game. You wouldn't want to do anything else if you were the Revs. Throw to Chattanooga on the near side. The Revs looking a bit tired, but so are Chattanooga. Let's see who's going to hold on. Make something happen here. There's the ball, Charlie Clark. He's open. Bello. Yes! There it is. 2 0. That was Costa, not Bello. My mistake. Joe Costa getting that goal. 2 0. Looks like Chattanooga going to the playoffs, folks. In the 90th minute of play, it's going to be really hard for the refs to come back from that one. Charlie Clark over to Jao Costa. Costa making no mistake, slotting it past the keeper. Chat Hooligans waving the Brazilian flag in celebration. That was a classic Brazilian goal there. Chandu bringing on Zeka. Jao Costa earning his break there. Chandu is fourth substitute, number nine, Zeka. Brazilian for a Brazilian. So Chattanooga definitely on the uh, front foot here. The Revs two down, into extra time. What have they got? Can they come back with any kind of goal or any kind of attack? header there but uh, Domenico able to stop it and gather it up does a bit of time wasting and then picks the ball up so Chattanooga two up as I said earlier I think one goal was going to be enough for this and uh, start the players and coach both agreed so two up Chattanooga going through the next round unless there is a major upset in the next few minutes and they'll be playing the winner of Asheville and the Atlanta Silverbacks on Saturday, I do believe, here at Finley Stadium. After that, there's some road games ahead, but for now, the next game should be here on Saturday. The Reds gonna make a nice substitution. Scott 
Renning coming on there for the Revs. They're getting a throw in the Chattanooga half, trying to make something happen here. And doing a bit of a Neymar, but the referee gives them that one and gives them a foul, gives them a free kick on top of the 18 yard box. But a uh, bit of a Neymar there, but there we go, that's uh, what you do when you're 2 0 down. A little bit of drama at the end. So the referee is keeping time on the field, so we'll find out from him and the uh, fourth official, my good friend Carlos, what we're going to be doing for extra time. In the meantime, the Rebs with a free kick, driven in, pushed out. Chattanooga coming away with it. The Rebs trying to get the ball back into play, and it's trickling out for a goal kick. And I think the referee has blown the whistle. He has. Hardly any extra time at all. And Chattanooga are through 2-0. Your CFC win at home at Finley Stadium. How about that? Excellent. Good game. Lots of drama. Bit of a wait for the, uh, the first goal in the 74th minute. But once it came, we're in great shape. So the next game at Finley Stadium. 7.30 Saturday night. There is only one place to be in Chattanooga on Saturday night. Not your favourite bar or your nightclub. It's here at Finley Stadium at 7.30. So, yep. Yeah, this will be the uh, playoff game for the SEC Championship of Soccer. So a great reason to be here Saturday night. Thanks for staying with us during the game. Hope you've enjoyed the stream. I've been uh, Simon Neal giving you the, the commentary and uh, enjoy watching the game cracking finish 2-0 Chattanooga playing well whole team effort and uh, two very nice goals there so Saturday night 7.30 we'll be here with the live stream don't forget tomorrow night 7.30 the women's conference playoff game the Chattanooga FC uh, women's team and then they're playing their final on Sunday morning before the World Cup so lots more soccer three more games in three days here at Finley Stadium be here or be uh, very uncool. So thanks for watching. I'll say good night, and we will see you on uh, tomorrow night with the women's game at 7:30, and then we'll see you Saturday night for the next game for Chattanooga FC men. Good night.